Yes, yes. Uh, matter of fact, that's something I, I, I mentioned to you kids earlier is, uh, well, uh, under that one, you see, I don't know the, the proclamation number, but in that May of 1945, when the, you, the Filipino troops were done, I mean, they, they, they were, there was nowhere else to move yet. They, uh, they were supposed to be moved in May of 45, but some general went to the United States said, he goes, keep the Filipino troops there for two months and let them find wives because interracial marriages or there was no, no such thing as something like that in those days. So then in that period of time in May of 45, my father found my mom. My father was at the time 35 years old. He, was, and he found my mom and she was 18. A lucky guy. <laughs> he goes, about my mom. And then uh, uh, promised her everything and everything like that. And then my mom just said yes. And then my, my father came back in October or November of 45. And that's when he was... Uh, uh, out of the military then, okay. but then he he married, he married my mom in the Philippines, but she 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 didn't come over till time uh, a time after that. Okay. Um, but would you like to tell us about that? Uh, well, over, I think uh, uh, well my brother Bob knows just as much as uh, my father came back to this town in Santa Maria. That's where he's originally been been, and he. He simulated his old life, you know, hanging out with the guys and working, just you know, just that you know, kind of life. And then uh, his, his he he didn't know the ways of how to you know petition to have my mom brought over, uh, being you know not from here, and, you know not, he he didn't know how to go through the channels to do that. I don't know if he did, he wanted to either. So. <laughs> so. Oh, <laughs> but, uh, let's just say he came back to America and went back to his old ways. <laughs> yes. oh, yeah. Already, but, but then one of his closest friends, uh, one of his closest friends, said, uh, "Ted, aren't you going to bring Ramona back?" Oh, yeah. and he goes, "He goes, oh well." He goes, "I don't know how to do that. I don't know." He goes, no, come on, Ted. No, I'm serious, guys. It's the truth. He goes, he goes, oh, "Come on, Ted." He goes, and he goes, and he goes, "No, I don't know how to." He goes, so then. So then the guy, he, he was in the army with my dad. His name was Ted Begal, and he lived in Santa Barbara. He was the, the servant butler for the uh, Rickard family. And the Rickard family, uh, more or less a big oil company, too, and they were also, uh, he was the mayor <laughs> of Santa Barbara. So then he goes, so then through those channels, my mom was able to come at what, the end of 46, 1946. He, he processed the, you know, so, so that she came and, and yeah, I mean, to the delightment of my father. So. Oh, so, so he was happy to have her over. Yes, yes, I'm sure. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs>